Hey buddy, hey mum. It's us. If you're in the UK, your weekend starts here. You still trying to scratch your back with that? Let me do it. Oh, let me get off me, weirdo. <laughs> Sophie. What you doing? Can I see? Yeah, long weekend. It's a it's a public holiday here tomorrow. So um yeah the all over the UK um people have been working from home this this afternoon with very little very little in their in their um in their banks shall we say Yep, V day tomorrow, and it's a bank holiday, so nothing gets done tomorrow. Bird, apart from some bird spotting, maybe. Hmm. What do you reckon? <laughs> she certainly has a big collection. That is an awkward stick actually because it's it's stuck here. It starts actually the other side of her. She's she's jammed it in the thing. Yeah, the nest is looking pretty good. She seems quite happy with it at the moment. She spent most of the day sitting in it just watching everyone go by. Occasionally yelling at wilds and things, so yeah, she's had a she's had a nice day. Oh, and Kiki. And also, we still got white stick. This is white stick here. Being careful not to touch it in case I move it even a millimeter and it it becomes unacceptable again. Oh, bless! Oh, smashing! Sounds good. I'm just going to free that there. I'm just gonna, come on. Oh, you really jammed that in, bird. Right, there you go. It's very difficult to tell, really. I, I, we're about on schedule for eggs. Um, but yeah, it's entirely down to what Sophie thinks, and um, yeah, she yeah she yeah she's had a really quiet day. Just not not like a bad quiet day, just like a yeah everything's fine, everything I need is going to come to me, sort of day. But yeah, as I say, with the eggs, it's it's she'll make her own mind up when when she wants to lay an egg, if she wants to lay an egg. But um, yeah, I think she's. Ooh. I think four days, four days behind last year, four, four maybe five days behind where she was this time last year, but it's not a problem. R and R, yeah, very nice. I had to go to the office today. I had to go to my workplace. So um, on the way home, I stopped off at a, um, a I stopped off at a, a co-op and got some um, beef mince. So there's actual meat tonight, bird. So you might we we might get a day without you pitching a big mag magroy strop and throwing your food bowl around, like you've been doing pretty much every day this week so far. She's bored with her with her food, you see. So it's it's one of those things that there's um. She expresses that by throwing her food bowl around. Yeah, it is a little bit getting to her. Yeah, I think she's, I think she's ready for me to stop hassling her on like a nearly hourly basis as well. 
because every now and again I have to get up from my um, from my desk. When I say my desk, I mean the bench that's over there. Um, and the um, I have to get up just to like stretch my legs and that kind of thing. So I wander around the garden, you know, look in a pond, that kind of thing. And in doing so, I speak to Sophie. And she's like, yes, it's you. Hello, Bree. Go away. <laughs> yeah, the garden's pretty great, Fedus. It's been really nice today. It's been it's been pretty great. Of just um Yeah, I know what you mean. We're a bit like that. We we made a decision that whenever any either of us leaves the house and face it, it's it's now I'm the only person that leaves the house now. Um you always go you always come home via the, the pet shop and just get some more cat food. So on the way home I got like another four boxes of cat food sort of thing, so But yeah, the um, Sophie's food has got a bit samey the last couple of days, so yeah, I figured I'd, I'd stop off and get some beef mince. Cool. Yeah, definitely. The weird thing is as well, like the um, the pet shop we go to is on like a. Um, I don't want you to call it like a precinct sort of thing with a like a hardware store like a like a Home Depot -y hardware store called B&Q here in the UK and just like another sort of like homeware shop and people were queuing out of the door to get into the the DIY place and the um, the hardware store but I wandered straight into the pet shop there wasn't anybody else in the shop it was just like oh yeah hi I'd like to buy these please great thank you bye but people were queuing to get into B&Q to buy sinks or whatever it is you buy from B&Q. I guess they were desperate to buy paint. I mean, it's, it's a it's a bank holiday weekend, isn't it? So it's like a British tradition to like repaint a room. So maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it's crazy. They were absolutely queuing out of the door and into the car park. To get into being you, just craziness. Oh bless! Well, I can get that because people like the you know people quite like a garden centre for like going to find some nice plants and something nice for their garden and that kind of thing. Oh. I'm not a big gardener, but I certainly couldn't function without a garden. I certainly couldn't function without just being able to go outside and wander around. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We've been hearing quite a lot of like impact driver and jigsaw and that kind of thing. Like reciprocating saw noises. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Bird, what you doing? Got a tiny vent open there. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I've we've had quite a few um, barbecues around. Um, Sophie will steal pretty much anything she's interested in, really. If it's um, <laughs> no, the neighbour's a drummer. Great. Um, it could be worse. It could be learning the violin, you know, or the or, or the recorder. Yeah. Oh, having a little snooze. Hey, bird. Oh, Sophie. Sophie. Jack is apparently learning clog dancing. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, 
okay, yeah, if, uh, I mean, I realise you, I mean, having, having learned an instrument, you do have to push through that, I'm crap, I'm crap, everything I play sounds like shit, sort of time. You do definitely have to wade through that feeling to get to being able to play your instrument. But, um... Oh, Sophie. Oh, bless. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I bought, I went to buy some, some guitar strings um, a week or so ago and accidentally bought a pack of three sets of guitar strings. So, yeah, no regrets. I'm, I'm sorted for strings. Yeah, I know, it's weird the way she does that. Just like, just has a little, just has a little panty snooze. I think a little snooze might well be happening, yeah. Come on, bird, I'm the one that had a really carby lunch. Oh, he says you want to... Oh, excuse me. I'm the one that had a massive pile of pasta for lunch. <laughs> Come on. So, yeah, actually, because we had pasta, that means there's pasta for, for birds as well. I love the way she occasionally just snaps her little eyes open again, just like, whoop, oh yeah. It's so weird the way they blink up. That is, I think that's a blackbird actually, I think that's a blackbird. Yeah, it's so weird the way her eyelids blink upward. Oh, sleepy stick. Sophie. Oh, hang on. I think you might be waking up a bit. The stick had been moved. The stick had been moved is definitely the Nest Fest equivalent of someone is wrong on the internet. Oh, bless. <laughs> are having another one of their loud over the fence chats again. Well Sophie is what they call an imprinted bird in the um the the um the wildlife rescuer that saved her life and hand fed her when she was a chick um did that in in her house with radio and television and visitors and that kind of thing. So Sophie thinks that humans are her friends rather than um rather than you know something to be avoided like a, a wild bird would correctly think so unfortunately imprinted imprinted animals can't be released into the wild oh hey bird oh was that all was that all we got oh no we're getting a tiny bit more what you doing what you doing fluff ball sophie what you got? Oh, big stretch. Oh. What have you got? Okay. Bum warm. No bum warm. The weird thing is when I change glasses, she, she paid she she paid attention to them for the first time ever. She was like, what? What's changed about your face? And she started like nibbling the sides. But after a couple of days, it was just like, no, it's the same old, the same old dorky human I'm used to. Hey bird, you're looking a bit confused there, old girl. 
All right. The trainers? What you doing? Wiggly hands? Wiggly hands mean sexy dance. Not full sexy dance though, is it? I know. Let's have a quick look in the nest to make sure there's nothing there. No surprises. Hey, hey Sweden. Hi. Nope. Um, well, I did. I did originally have quite long hair. When she first knew me, I had I had quite long hair. I had like at least mid mid back length hair, and um, and she was pretty cool with it. Actually, she was she was okay with it. Oh, now we're awake. Ah, I see. She's moving into the the afternoon sunspot. What? Me with really long hair? Yikes! Yeah, there is a there is a photograph of me. My pa my old passport picture is me. Um, I I have long hair in that. Fortunately, you can't see the worst of it. Well, most of the um, most of the marks on the um, on the perches are actually deliberate. What I do is I rough them up with a like a little wood saw that's on my penknife. That um, that it. Um, makes increases the surface area, makes it easier to grab onto. Yeah, Sophie. Sophie is about ten. Yeah, in like a, in like three or four weeks' time, she'll be ten. What do you think? We're very thoughtful today. We're almost considered today, bird. What do you think, buddy? Many thoughts. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. Sorry. Did I see a quote? Did I see a question? I missed a question. Go past. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We um. We couldn't really create more baby magpies because then you've got a problem of exactly what to do with them. Because they couldn't live in here with Sophie and you couldn't release them because they would be imprinted, so yeah. So she has, she has tons of wild magpie friends who visit her every day and sit, and sit with her and keep her company and that kind of thing. But no, she doesn't, she's not into the male magpies that way, which is fortunate. Sophie. Come on, bird. Should we find you something to eat? What do you think? What do you think? You got the camera too close, man. So hey, thanks for coming, everybody. I'm gonna make some gonna make some food now. You ready for some food, bird? Yeah. Oh yeah, square is definitely a shape. Square is 100 percent a shape. So yeah, if you've just stumbled across this on Periscope and you'd like to follow Sophie on Twitter, her Twitter handle is at Bree Try and get it in the sun so it's visible. There we are. Or if you Google Sophie the Magpie, everything you need is there. Um, we'll we'll be online tomorrow, and so we'll see you around lunchtime tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. See you soon.